The chairman of the new patriotic party's reconciliation committee in the Ashanti region, Ambassador Edward Boateng, is optimistic the party will be more united ahead of the 2024 polls after the completion of the ongoing reconciliation process. The 14th member committee in the Ashanti region has begun executing its mandate towards addressing outstanding issues that led to divisions before, during and after the party's parliamentary and presidential primaries. My colleague Hafiz Tijani has more in this report from the region. Disputes that emerged during the new patriotic party's parliamentary and presidential primaries have undoubtedly resulted in factions within the party. The leadership of the MPP as a step to address post-election disputes constituted reconciliation committees across the 16 regions. In the Ashanti region, MPP members were divided along choices of presidential and parliamentary aspirants during the primaries, and some were disgruntled after these exercises. The chairman of the Reconciliation Committee in the Ashanti region, Ambassador Edward Boatin, explains the measures the committee is taking to mend the cracks. Looking at a um, period of about eight weeks, however, Chairman Wontumi has made it clear that this reconciliation process will go all the way to election day because there are going to be problems. I mean, we have uh, it's a human institution, and obviously you're going to have the challenges of this person has stepped on my toe, or this person did not greet me, or have this grievance with this person. So the bulk of the work we hope to complete within the next eight weeks. However, it's an ongoing process till the election day. He encouraged all MPP members to bury their differences and rally behind the party's 2024 presidential candidate for victory in the general elections. Ambassador Boatin, who spoke to City News, says the role of each member is key for the MPP's victory and emphasized the need for unity. At the end of the day, we all belong to the great NPP party and we have to make sure that we win the December 7th elections because, as President Kofor said, it's better to be a messenger in a government that is in power than to be a leader in a government that is in opposition. Our former flag bearer, the late Dr. Dubuahin, also said in 1992, 